Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisiedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I will discuss percentages, part four, calculating interest. Interest is a fee that is charged for the privilege of borrowing or using money, usually expressed as a percentage of the amount borrowed or used. There are two kinds of interest, simple and compound. Principal is the amount of money that is borrowed or loaned. The interest rate is the number of dollars to be paid for every $100 borrowed or loaned, expressed as a percentage. Time is the duration of the loan, usually expressed in years or parts of years. Simple interest is calculated based on the principal, the rate of interest that is charged, and the period of time that the principal remains outstanding or unpaid. Simple interest can be calculated using the formula interest equals principal times rate times time, or I equals P times R times T, which is equal to PRT. Let's take an example. If $1,000 is borrowed at 7% interest for one year, the interest that is due is given by interest equals principal times rate times time, which is equal to $1,000 times 7% times one year, or $1,000 times 7 over 100. We can reduce by canceling 100, leaving $10 times 7, or $70. So the interest on the loan for that one year is $70. Some pawn shops are for car equity or car title loans. Signing a contract using your car as collateral, you can get a $2,000 loan or more if you agree to pay 20 to 25% interest per month. As long as the monthly interest is paid, the principal can remain outstanding. At 20%, at least the $400, $2,000 divided by five, interest payment is due every 30 days. After five months, $2,000, 100% of the borrowed amount, will have been paid in interest. At the end of one year, 12 months, $4,800, 240% of the borrowed amount, has been paid in interest, and the principal is still due. If Ruby borrows $3,000 at 25% per month, how much are her interest payments? How much will she pay out if she pays off the loan in a year, and how does it compare with the amount borrowed? With an interest rate of 25%, $3,000 divided by four, or $750, is due every 30 days. Every four months, an amount equal to the amount that she borrowed will be paid in interest. At the 12th month, the total interest paid amounts to three times $3,000 or $9,000, and the total amount that Ruby paid is the total interest paid over 12 months plus the amount borrowed, which is $9,000 plus $3,000 or $12,000 or four times 400% of the amount borrowed. 25% interest per month translates to 300%, 12 times 25% interest per year. Using the interest formula, I equals PRT, we would have $3,000 times 300% times one, or $3,000 times three, which equals $9,000. The principal plus interest is $3,000 plus $9,000, or $12,000. Compound interest is calculated based on the principal, the rate of interest that is charged, the period of time that the principal remains outstanding, and all interest that has already accrued or accumulated. Here, the principal is increased by the addition of interest at the end of each interest period during the term of the loan. How much interest accrues over three years at 8% on $3,000 if the interest is compounded annually? At the end of the first year, the interest is 8% of $3,000, or $3,000 times 0 0.08, which is $240. The new principal is the original principal plus the first year's interest, or $3,000 plus $240, or $3,240. At the end of the second year, the interest is 8% of $3,240, or $3,240 times 0 0.08, which is equal to $259.20. So the new principal is the first year's principal plus the second year's interest, or $3,240 plus $259.20, which is $3,299.20. At the end of year three, the interest is 8% of $3,499.20, which is $3,499.20 times 0 0.08, or $279.94. The principal at the end of the third year is the second year's principal plus the third year's interest, 
or $3,499.20 plus $279.94 or $3,779.14. The total compound interest after three years is $240 plus $259.20 plus $279.94, which equals $779.14 which is the same as the principal at the end of the third year minus the initial principal, or $3,779.14 minus $3,000. By comparison, the simple interest over that three-year period would be P times R times T, or $3,000 times 0 0.08 times 3, which is $720, a difference of $59.14. The amount received using compound interest can be calculated using this formula, where R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal and T is the time in years. To calculate the part of the formula in parentheses, add 1 to the annual interest rate R, then either multiply the result by itself T times, or use the X to the Y key or X carré character over the 6 key and Y keystrokes, putting the value of 1 plus the interest rate as x, and the number of years as y. Let's use the formula to solve the problem that we looked at earlier, calculating the amount of interest on $3,000 at 8% over 3 years, if the interest is compounded annually. a equals p times 1 plus r to the t becomes $3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 to the third, or $3,000 times 1.08 to the third. 1.08 to the third is equal to 1.259712, and $3,000 times 1.259712 is equal to $3,779.14, rounded to the nearest penny, as before. If the interest is compounded more often than once annually, there is another formula to calculate the amount, which is amount is equal to principal times 1 plus the ratio of the interest rate and the compounding frequency, all raise the product of the compounding frequency and the time. Here, n, the compounding frequency, is the number of times that the interest will be compounded per year. Using this new formula, let's find out how much interest accrues over three years at 8% on $3,000 if the interest is compounded monthly. Putting p equals $3,000, r equals 0 0.08, n equals 12, since there are 12 months in a year, and t equals 3, we get $3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 to the 12 times 3, or $3,000 times 1.0067 to the 36th power, which simplifies to $3,810.71, rounded to the nearest penny. The accrued interest is the difference between the initial amount and the amount after three years, or $3,810.71 minus $3,000, or $810.71, which is $31.57 more than the interest from annual compounding, and $90.71 more than the simple interest that would accrue.